Trendmood put up this post earlier today that said that Urban Decay are coming out with a new foundation. We don't have a date and we don't have a price, so that's right, I'm completely useless. Personally, I think the packaging is kind of cool because it's bringing me back to old school Urban Decay, but let's get chatting about this and talk about what we do know. Based on Trendmood's post, it seems that this is called the Face Bond Waterproof Liquid Foundation with niacinamide. So I'm assuming that if it's waterproof, you're going to need to have some sort of a, an oil-based cleanser to really get it off. Um, the inclusion of niacinamide is quite interesting. I mean, that has been making its way into lots of products these days, so I'm not against it. But the thing that I find quite interesting is that they're saying that it's a three in one. It combines foundation and serum, which you've seen before. I actually have the MAC Serum Foundation. Love it. But here's the extra thing that they're combining. Setting powder, which I'm like, what? I haven't really heard of that before. Now, they say that it's giving you buildable medium coverage. And I love that they also included this picture, that there's three ways to apply. Yes. Like, I mean, that's how most people will apply it, either with a brush, with fingers or with a sponge. It seems like an unnecessary inclusion, but maybe I'm just being a bit sassy today. They go on to say that it's enhanced with 3% niacinamide, which of course has some skincare benefits. And I mean, it's one of those kind of ingredients that seems to have gained a huge amount of popularity. And I'm not dissing it. I include niacinamide within my routine, but it's just interesting to see that it's kind of like become this thing, almost like how hyaluronic acid went to fame. Just interesting to see what becomes like a hero ingredient. They say that it's self-setting powder absorbs sweat and oil, offering a natural finish for up to 24 hours. Now, I am kind of a dry to normal, so combination skin. I'm not really 100% certain on this because if it's going to absorb sweat and oil, this may work better for those who have oily skin based upon what I'm hearing. But they are saying it's lightweight and for all skin types. I mean, we'll see. And it apparently includes a patent pending precision dropper, which fair enough. I do appreciate that in addition to it being vegan and cruelty free, there are 40 shades. So it does seem like it goes to a really good level of depth and a really good level of lightness too. And it does seem like they've really considered a lot of the undertones as well. So kudos. I am quite interested in this. And I have a soft spot for Urban Decay. I want them to do well. And the pictures of the before and after look quite interesting. Like it does look like you still have skin, which of course is helpful. So I can see how they're saying that it's more medium coverage. And with this example here, you can see how it does give you a bit of coverage. It seems to kind of get rid of any sort of pigmentation and kind of even out your skin tone. Of course, niacinamide in general over long term use will do that as well. So that may be one of the like positives of using that. But don't quote me on that. I am sheerly speculating. But it's this picture that's kind of making me go, oh, you're saying that it's medium coverage. But like this girl's freckles are completely covered. And I don't know about you guys, but I love freckles. Actually, in Irish, it's Pogi Negrania, which basically means little kisses from the sun. And I just, I'm like, oh, it, it, it's quite full coverage. I don't know. Medium seems like they're underselling it. But I'd say you could also like dampen it down a little bit. But I'm like, don't cover your freckles. You're gorgeous. It does sound like they are trying to innovate. I mean, I haven't really heard of a three-in-one formula before. Maybe I've just been totally out of the loop. But that in itself is relatively interesting to me. It doesn't sound like it will necessarily mesh with my skin type, even though they're like, it'll work for all skin types. My love, when has that ever really worked? <laughs> when has it been that something will work for all skin types? It is beyond rare but I'm very intrigued by this and I'm looking forward to seeing other people kind of mess around with this we'll see and it depends of course on the price and how much product you're getting but let me know what you guys think do you think this is interesting or are you just like what is going on over here